Okay, so fun fact, um, everyone has seen a sea monster because, thing is, an elasmosaur is like the equivalent to a plesiosaur and a plesiosaur's closest relative is a turtle. So if you've seen a turtle, you've seen a Loch Ness monster. And the next thing is if you, the basilosaur is the largest prehistoric whale so if you have ever seen a whale aka go to sea world then you've seen a basilosaur and if you've ever seen a snake or a reptile then you've seen a monosaur okay so this is a scale of all of the lake monsters or plesiosaur or monosaur or elasmosaur or whatever so these are three monsters so mm -hmm, they keep on going yeah yeah okay and then over here is where the plesiosaurus stops. So from here to there, and then the elasmosaurus goes from here, and then we're just going to keep on following it just to prove how long and gigantic this thing is. And it's just going to keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, and then it stops. So that's the elasmosaur, and it goes from here all the way to over there. Now, that's not even the biggest one. So the biggest one, um, yeah, it went out the door because it just would not fit inside of my house. It's called the Monosaur, and it is 60 feet. And if I just point the camera out the window, that's where it ends. It goes outside of the house and into the door. Mm -hmm.